Okay, real quick, we're going to draw a male torso. I like to keep it simple, so we're going to start with a little barrel shape. Then we're going to divide that in half uh, vertically. And then just over halfway, we're going to go horizontally. A little bit under that is where we're going to start the ribs. So for the chest, I'm going to put the collarbone in. And go down to the actual chest muscles or pectorals. The names aren't that important. I mean, yeah, it's cool to know them, but it's more important to know where they go. For the rib cage, you just follow the shape around. You have the muscles coming off its off the side. And for this, I actually studied a little bit of the Renaissance sculptures. That's how I got the idea for this particular look. Uh, you can study any artist that you like, though, whether it's comic books or more realistic art even manga. So then we have the stomach muscles. There's usually six, some people put eight. And between the second and the third set, that's actually where the belly button is, the last part are very, very long. They go all the way down into the pelvis. And you have part of the muscles from the back and the lats or love handles whatever you want to call them I've got death grips so there's that if you want to take it a little bit further you can actually add the shoulders which connect to the collarbone so you actually have the chest muscles and the shoulder muscles or deltoids they crisscross each other I think that's the term I want to use. The overlap, there you go. And technically these would all spiral out. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed it.